Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. I'm Braden. I'm Andrew. And this is your weekly UFO review number three. Uh, we're reviewing the week of September 27th to October 1st. Um, there's only four videos this week, and the reason that is is because a top five of the month comes out uh, narrated by Dan on the 30th, so we weren't going to review... Uh, top five uh video of the month so the last video of every month is kind of a top five so there, uh, this week we only got four videos uh but well i mean like that's enough for us we can keep it interesting with four i think dan needs five to make his interesting yeah right like he needs more content and, it's all good it's fine we're not judging anything like that just it's all good dan it's fine yes yeah, go so ahead the, take the five there'll be a lot more of these this is unequivocal evidence of ufos tonight <laughs> just, <laughs> just you and I. all of them <laughs> all of them um without further ado uh let's get into the first one the first one's coming at us from Alstead, uh new hampshire usa i i gotta say for a second as a canadian i don't know what all the states abbreviations are so i th think where's, where's dan when you need him yeah this is why we need dan on here <laughs> i think it's Alstead, new hampshire usa uh this comes in at september 9th or 19th uh, 2021, and it's MUFON case 118086. Um, and basically, this person just said they saw a UFO over their barn. Uh, they said they saw a white object passing over a barn roof. They shot the video on their phone. It went up and disappeared. He ran to the other side of the barn, but the object was gone. Shit. Uh, without further ado, let's get into this one. So I can see the little silver object. That's kind of what we're looking for in the main video, in the little preview there. Who edits these things? Excellent, excellent work. Beautiful, beautiful job. Oh, so that thing's clipping along pretty good. I mean, we got oh, yeah. a, we got a little bit of the barn, so then we could gauge speed. It's, I mean, I mean, that thing's moving. Why can't you just keep the fucking camera still? It, di it disappeared there. I don't. I can't really see oh. it. That's gone. I don't see it at all. Wow. Zoom in object. I mean, not getting it much. Kind of kind of gives that weather balloon look a little bit there, like we saw with the last one we watched on the last review show, but not this, not nowhere okay. near as definitive. Yes, if it was just sitting like this. This is obviously a zoom in just so you can get a close-up. Same with this, zoom in. There's a little camera trigger here. Uh, there's a weird fade to try to keep it in zoom. So that's just a that's just a weird editing issue. Um, but you can see that zoomed in. But the thing is with the weather balloon, weather balloons don't clip along like this, right? If no, you this go back. Moving. And it's interesting because, like, what do you think how it, like, you, do you think just fucking, like, hits fucking light speed mock chicken when it disappears? Or do you think it actually just, like, disappears? Well... I'm trying to see if I see like I already lost it. Does the guy say anything about any sound? No, he didn't say anything about any sound. I mean, if you want to watch the original video, the link will be in the description of this, uh, and it's got this clip with the audio not muted. Um, but like, I I can't even see where I actually lose sight of it. So there it is. That's so fast. Then go gone. Yeah. It kind of Boom. it kind of flickers. It's... It it flickers right there. It honestly, you could almost, it almost looks like it gets smaller. Like it looks like it's getting further away. Like it looks like the dude's hitting, fucking talking to Chewy, hit the light speed, let's fucking get out of here. GTFO. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. Um, wow. This one's cool. This one is cool. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, dude, I, I'm at a loss without Dan here to give me some logical explanation of what it could possibly be. I have fucking nothing. It's the thousand on the gimbal scale, bud. That's a hundred. That's because if this was, if this was say a plane, right. It wouldn't disappear like that. Like seemingly the sun is still in the same position it is. So it would still get reflection, right? You would still see the glare. It wouldn't disappear like that. And it does look like it like stutters. It goes back gone. So, yeah, you know, God damn, this might be one of the most convincing videos I've seen. This is, yeah, I don't know. Like, it, it's weird. When I look at it, like, it looks like a Frisbee. Yeah. There's no way a Frisbee's moving like that and then just disappears. 
Unless you got Hercules throwing these discuses or something like that. Like that thing's going quick. Yeah, this is um <laughs> that's on a zero gimbal, what are you going with? What we're going is it ten gimbals the most gimbals? Yeah. It's a, it's it's a you know what? Because for me in my eyes, a, a fucking a ten on the gimbal scale is this little saucer comes even close to the camera. And a little green dude pops his head out, heads out and says, hey, what's up, man? And then goes back in his little saucer and fucks off. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give this a 7. 7.5. 7. Yeah. See, for me, a 10 would gimbal would be... Uh, I want to see... Uh, you know when you hear descriptions such as like buff ledge and stuff where you like you can see the windows. You, yeah. you like look at this thing and you're like, all right, well, this is a this is a craft. So I'm going. I'm going also high with this one. Uh, I'm going a little higher than you with an eight of the zero to gimbal. This is a good UFO video. Like really, really good. Now is it good because we don't have Dan shitting all over it, or maybe Dan might be <laughs> like, "Well, actually, this is uh, this it's looks... an atmospheric frisbee." <laughs> yeah, and if you Google that, NASA launches them for another time, and then you look it up, you're like, "Damn it, he's right." Come on. Um, but. You know what? Like, I, I'm not smart enough to do the science or anything, but like, you have the objects. This thing is clipping. Yeah, I don't know, man. And like, at the end, like, let's say it's a bird potentially. Little... Like, it just doesn't disappear. It's not diving downwards. To, you know, like, it's. I, I actually, now that I'm watching this again, the only thing I have is I don't know if the camera loses focus for a second here. But this could be it. the The footage stutters, like when you watch it. Like, let me watch this frame rate again. Oh yeah, I see that too. But but if you look at the barn, if you're watching the barn, the barn's in focus, and then it looks like the camera tries to focus on something else, and loses it. But that's when we also lose the object. So, you know what? Like, I, I don't know. Is that a camera editing for like is is someone edited that together? I don't know, but it. it you definitely see that object and it skips and it seems to take off. Um, I'll give this person the benefit of the doubt. This is a good UFO video. Yeah, I agree. I Coming concur. from uh, Alstead, uh, New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. Yeah. yeah, it is New Hampshire. Uh, all right, next up, let's see what we got. We got um, a tanned colored futuristic drone with lights spotted by t some telephone wires. Uh, this is coming in from Fort Mojave, Arizona, USA. This was submitted uh, September 17th, 2021. Move on case 118096. Uh, the long description. Uh, you know what? This guy wrote up good on him. He wrote quite a description. It's too, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's so long. Uh, but if you want to see the original video and his original write-up, you can click the link below for the original video. Um, basically, what he's saying is he spotted this thing on a drive, pulled over because he was like, what the hell is this? He gets his phone. He starts uh, clicking record. Um, but when he clicked, just before he got out and he started recording, the, the flashing lights stopped. So he wasn't sure if the lights went out or just stopped flashing. Um, he said the shape he said it looks like one of those curved water bottles uh, or a gourd g-o-u-r-d uh the thing it's a, turned it's a vegetable isn't it like yeah a squash a gourd yeah uh the thing turned to my left rose turned slight right and then casually went out towards the mountains um there was another girl in a black suburban who pulled over and was recording it out of her window and i said what the hell is that thing and she didn't respond uh she just looked at me um, so he, other people looked at it in his thing and people were surprised and there was other people filming it, he said. So without further ado, uh, let's take a peek at this video, uh, from Fort Mojave, Arizona of a possible UFO drone. Oh, what the hell is that? Man, that's bizarre. It looks like Boba Fett's. No, oh, slave one. I was yeah. just gonna. It, look, it looks like a flying sarcophagus or something like that, yeah. or like, uh, or like Kakuna. <laughs> you know what? It reminds me of the way it's floating upright like that. It reminds me of uh, Ian McKellen's Magneto as he like yeah. flies upright like that. Oh, what weird. What is that? 
Uh, be, from here, it almost looks like a bunch of balloons, kind of, the way it's shaped. What the hell is that thing? I, I might have a zoomed in version. If not, I'll zoom it in manually so we can examine it a little closer. Like it is mushroom is, shaped, kind of, right? Yeah. Is that what you see? Yeah. Oh, it's like it, the shape changes, hey? Yeah, but well, that just might be the perspective of where we're seeing it from. But what the hell is that? Like, that's weird, man. Oh, I gotta. We gotta watch that again. I need to see this again. Yeah, let's let's watch from about here. It is a very strange looking. I've never seen a drone like that myself. One that sits upright like that. And I mean, this guy. When when you look at this guy's when you, he's he's thinking he's thinking that it's some sort of future uh, futuristic military drone, because he said it has like the tan like aren't military colors. Um, but he also said it was changing shapes. He he says that it was in fact. Oh, so he changing. does. It, yeah, it was he said it, he says it had no propulsion system that he could see, and it didn't have any landing gear, and he didn't hear any noise coming at whatsoever. Um. I mean, like it, it like you know what it kind of looks like. Again, I know I'm saying a bunch of different shit, but it almost looks like like a deflated air balloon. You know, like with a little carriage on the bottom, and then it's got. Yeah, but look at this shot here. It looks like it's boxy. Oh, it's weird, man. right? I don't know, dude. Like it kind of goes from round to Did... like a boxy looking shape. Do they ever have balloons attached to drones? Here, let me look this I up. I don't know. That's oh, kind of. I can't share it with you, but I mean, it's a stretch though. It doesn't look like that shape, but they definitely have uh, balloons. And what is this? Yeah, dude, look at this zoom in version though. Like, I'm having a hard time seeing a. I, I mean, and he's he's describing this thing, and I I'm gonna say that his eyes probably capture it better than the camera. And he's saying it's it's that tan like military military camouflage. Um, now, if there's air if there's air force bases are like in and around Mo the Mojave Fort Mojave, I'm guessing the fort probably says there is. Maybe that's exactly what this thing is. Is that a, some sort of uh, military tech that you know we don't know anything about? They always say that the military is you know ten years ahead of us. Uh, in what they're sharing with the population. So maybe this is some sort of new silent drone. It's it's bizarre looking, man. Like that's that's like no I've never seen a drone looking like that before. Mm -mm. Now, zero to gimbal. You know what? Here's the thing though, like it, it's super bizarre, but at the same time it's not as remarkable as the previous video. No. So right off the bat there, I have to, I have to go lower than a seven, but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm bordering between four and five here because I want to say like, it's, it's weird. It's weirder than not weird. If that makes sense, you know, yeah. like it's, and, and like my rule last time was, is like, if you could give me something that could look similar and it was easier to, you know, easy to explain. Sure. We can't, we haven't been able to figure out something like that. We don't have our Dan or our cheat code to crack mm -hmm. all this shit. Nobody here to poo poo on the party. Um, I'm going to give it a five. Um, now, see, I'm going to go with the, for, for me, I'm going to go with the actual submitter because he was boots on the ground, eyes in the, eyes on the sky. He saw this thing. He, he says, you know, like uh, amazed, bewildered at the fact that he observed this thing changing shapes. But based on his knowledge and the color of that brand color meant for military camo of like, you know, other things, drones and stuff in the U.S. military's arsenal that he believes it's a it's a futuristic military drone. So I tend to lean with what he's seeing, where I believe that this is potentially some sort of high-tech drone uh military drone that we just don't know anything why about make yet. it tan though like why what are you trying when you want to try and make it like blend in with the sky like why make it tan if it's i'm confused um i don't know desert i don't know yeah but that's just like if it was going on the ground maybe but 
Yeah. But maybe that's what it's maybe like that's what its purpose will be. It'll be like low flying reconnaissance, right? So it's like if yeah. you someone looking down from a mountaintop wouldn't see it coming. Yeah, maybe. Right. Oh man. It's strange. <sighs> this this one's weird, man. It's, it's weird. Just, it, the shape, like I've never seen a similar shape. Like no, that's it, just that flies. Wait, on it, when you zoomed out like that, it looked like a like right there. It looks like a bunch of balloons to me. It looks like a little mushroom cap there. Yeah, like it. But then here, there's a shot here where it looks like a like a square. Looks like, yeah, like really boxy. I don't know, man. And then it. it it's, it's weird that it changes shape. Yeah, it it is it is weird. Um. Anyways, that's it, a <laughs> two, two, You two, know what? I got I got to drop my game. I got to drop it down though. I got to go lower than five because the one thing that I I forgot to counter it like it's not. Look at the way it's moving. It definitely looks like it's like going with basically floating, right? Like going with the wind. It it's definitely not. There's no like dynamic movement whatsoever. What is that thing? It is. It's definitely drifting. Yeah, like it looks like it's. I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk my down to a. I'm gonna go to a three point five. Not to say that this isn't an incredibly weird video. It's just that I don't. It's I don't, weird as fuck. It's weird. It's super weird. It's it's ten on the weird as fuck scale. Yeah. But as for like alien, I don't know if this is alien. I think this is. I think this is military tech that we just don't know anything about. What, the way it's moving, it's like it doesn't give a shit if it's seen or not. And that's yeah. what like that's just doesn't hold up with what we what we've learned to. Well, I guess what, what, what we theorized on, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So uh, the next one. Next one's uh, coming in from Woodford Green, Green Bay, USA. This was submitted on September 22nd, 2021, and it's MUFON case 118-139. Um, this person just describes a strange ball light, and he says, he or she says, that the video taken on my mobile doesn't do justice to just how bright this object was. Whilst I was reviewing the video I just captured, I looked up to see the object had returned in the same place as before. This time it was stationary in the sky for two to three seconds later. It shot straight up at incredible speed, not giving me time to film again. So he's saying after this video, he witnessed this thing shoot straight up in the air. Uh, well, let's let's get into it. Let's, let's see the little preview. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, that's kind of weird. It looked like it just flew, flew in a circle there. I like it. We have the tree... The trees for, well, that's weird. Yeah, that's bizarre, man. That's oh, weird. wow. That's weird. <laughs> what what? Fuck, man. <laughs> it, weird. Is it, is it is dropping? It, dropping? it looks like it's dropping a little bit. It looks like it's kind of, oh, it looks like it's, yeah, it looks like it's plummeting down. It did just, it just. It looked like it was spiraling, but then just now it just did a completely different movement, and it's behind the treetops there. It looks like a disruptor oh. disc. Dude, that's weird looking. I mean, it kind of looks like a spotlight. Was that it behind the clouds there? I saw the, it by the, the tree trees. line. Yeah. Yeah, the tree line is what I saw last. I'm fucking weird. I gotta rewatch it. Yeah. But I also I don't think like are you sure G B is Green Bay? Because Green Bay is a city. Dude in Wisconsin. I think I already let you know that I have no idea. All right, I'm just checking. What but I'm GB? trying to think where the fuck is G B then? That's what all it that? says in the thing. So maybe maybe Woodford Green's a subdivision in Green Bay. Maybe, yeah. And maybe, I just yeah, okay. I just I just wrote G B. Oh, okay. Or I'm an actual no. You know what it is? I'm an actual idiot. Uh, it's Woodford Green, Great Britain. Yeah, that makes way more sense. That actually. makes way more sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! Oh, fucking moron! Oh god, that's hilarious. Yeah, I was, the whole time I'm like, is that Green Bay City? D hey, listen. Anyway. Hey, it's I have no way. idea. It's all I have no it's idea. You got no Dan. What do you expect? Yeah. Dan would have sorted this out before we even went live. Hey, man. This is a province. You'd be all over it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's look at this again. <laughs> okay. First off, I, I don't see this being a spotlight. 
only because you would see the 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 stream light, yeah the, the light stream the funnel because like, the funnel, like at the start here i thought maybe it was a tower like when it first shows because it just spirals in in what looks like the same spot well, it looks right? like it's losing altitude a bit though right not like not dipping. not yet right right here i'm just like oh it's something in the sky that's just it's something on a a tower that's just doing a big spiral some sort of light or something and then it, right now we start to see it plummet right it does a big funny. drop Totally reminds me exactly of like the fucking Zeppelins at the beginning of Batman animated series. Like, look at that little dip, oh, right? That's weird. It like does a big S, woo, as it comes down, and then behind the trees. But then it comes, it'll pop back up here. <laughs> that is fucking oh, strange. Man, that's weird. Right, this movement right here is the one that flabbergasted me. This little dip right here, whoosh. Up and then back across. Fucking weird. It's like, it's weird. It's moving like a kite in the wind, kind of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the way it's going back and forth like that. Like, like how high is that? Do we have any reference? Do we, could it Just, be a fucking, a, 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 like a, well, I guess the <laughs> trees aren't blowing though, right? You'd see the trees moved around if it was super windy. You think so, right? Like, it's hard. But why is it so lit up? I am not, dude. I got no idea. But yeah, I guess you could say like a kite drifted by, but it does look like it's doing a circle. Like it absolutely looks like it's doing a circle, which which a kite would do though, right? Like that's what that's how kites move. I don't like. Is I wonder like is there any kind of like night parachuters? Oh yeah, right? like it. It does kind of look like a parachute too. A circle, and then they do like those little dips, and come back up. I I honestly don't know, but um, I I I'm I'm not sure if anyone in the in the comments or something has a better idea because right now I'm like I'm at a loss. And if we're taking this person for their word, they say that after thing this thing dips off, they say it comes back into view. And then shoots straight up at incredible speed. Obviously, oh, we don't. Wow. Obviously, we don't catch that on film, but that's what this person's saying. That bums me out because I feel like that would be the shit your pants moment where you're like, yeah, that's definitely, yeah, definitely a UFO. Um, zero to gimbal. What do you think? Oof. Man, I feel like we're just being ufo stooges here tonight being like oh yeah it's got to be one. <laughs> like in every video well, watch that like, video i'm like dude I, it's weird it, it doesn't follow the same movement like what's that bright like okay what if it's a parachuter like what kind of bright lights are you rocking well i mean like high vis if you're if you're planning on parachuting at night you're gonna have your shit's gonna be high vis for sure right you'd assume that but for me it, it for me it moves more like a fucking kite that's what i see when i see the way it's like dipping around and shit like that but like oh dude i don't know but it, here's the movement patterns know. though the movement patterns are weird like why like because right what? now if that's that this... doesn't look like purposeful movement to me no the you know like that's the weird part and here's the thing this first bit of the video I don't see it losing altitude. It just looks like it just spins in a circle at the beginning, right? It just looks like it's just it's just spin. It doesn't look like it's dropping, and then all of a sudden, it I feel like it just does a big drop. Like right now, it just looks like to me it's just doing a big circle, and then Dude. boom, it just does a huge dip, right? To what the fuck is that? Like there's no like <laughs> I mean I have no idea. Like like meteors don't move like that. Nope. <laughs> it's impossible. Like, I just, I don't understand. Um, zero to gimbal for me. I, again, this one's the, I, the only reason this one isn't going to get a higher than an eight for me. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a six and a half on the gimbal scale. I'm on the weird scale. I'm like, this is fucking weird. But the thing is, is that I, I, my brain leans to that. Perhaps this is some sort of like night parachute someone on a parachute and they're doing a big circle big circle and then they do a dip to get speed zip around i just don't know what the kind of reflective gear looks like on that kind of stuff so i don't know so if you were watching this and you were experienced with some night 
jumping, uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah, you're going to have to educate us on this kind of stuff because we're stooges. We got no idea. I want to go like I just that's so bizarre, man. That's I have I can't speculate as to what that is any, like other than a fucking UFO. I don't yeah. know. I've never seen anything look like that before. Yeah, me neither. Oh, man, I, I zero to gimbal. What do you think? I just I feel like I wanted to be like sevens is, is, is high for me. But I, but this one is up there with that one. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be a bit lower. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it at at a a five point five because I just don't understand the movement. The movement is so weird to me. Unless they've lost control of their ship, or maybe they're circling, looking for somebody to fucking you know beam up and probe. Maybe I don't know, but like it's just weird. Unless they're showing off, because that's that's the one thing. Like it definitely doesn't look like they're trying to be discreet whatsoever. No, looks like they're going for a joyride there. I'm gonna give it a five point five. All right, um, last one, last video uh, for this week. This is the first of the October uh, UFO videos. Um, this is coming in from North Beach, North Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, this was submitted back in 2017, uh, July 28th. And this is MUFON case 118178. Um so this person said they pulled over into a parking lot to record what they believe is a UFO. They saw it hovering, changing directions uh, during a lightning storm. Um, oh, flashing, hovering UFO, changed directions many times, moved up, down during a lightning storm. Uh, they pulled over and recorded inside the car. They've shown this video to many friends over the years. And she will wants to know she wants to share it with the community and she wants to know what other people think uh she she adds she doesn't think it's a drone although in her first initial thought while recording was that it was p possibly a drone so just what's going on let's watch this video little uh wow let's see so pulled over Got some flashing lights, a little lightning going there. Oh, straight oh, down. Drops. Drops almost like it's like some type of beacon. Hey, like yeah. the way it's flashing too. Like, is that gone now? Oh, well, oh, it peaked up there. Now it's back up. Oh, it's going up. Weird. I mean, it, it's moving very drone like. It, yes, it's moving like, honestly, I. Look it at looks this. like a drone. It me. looks like a quadro, one of those quadrocopter things. Yeah. Like, with how it moves right to left. Because um, I, I wonder if we're getting any more. Let's check. I don't think that might be it. I mean, you could probably get some pretty cool pictures from that drone of a lightning strike. Hmm, that was weird. Um, Dude, that it was weird. Uh, I I don't know. Right I definitely... here, like it looks like it. This looks like a drone to me. Because it pauses, yeah. it stations. It, the just the movement and stuff. It it flies like a drone. Like I, I've seen this kind of movement before. Yeah, I agree. I it it looks very drone like to me as well. Uh, zero to gimbal. What are you going with? I'm going to give it a one. A one. Um, yeah. I'm also. I I I got to go a one with this one. It, it looks to me like a drone. Uh, I don't see anything else to tell me otherwise. I think that's exactly what this is here. So, anyways, uh, that's this week's. Uh, weekly UFO roundup. I mean, three good, three good ones. One, one, not that it's a bad one, right? It's just, you know, you got to go with the easiest explanation. So Occam's razor. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, that's it. And remember, uh, always keep your eyes on the skies. Peace out, everyone.
To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing. <laughs>